What's up guys? I'm Crystal Lee Naomi, aka Jasmine Borders, now Tyler Perry's sisters. Be sure to subscribe to the Haves and the Have Nots review for not only reviews on the Haves and the Have Nots, but also on sisters. And while you're at it, give your girl a follow on Instagram at Crystal Lee Naomi. And I'll see you every Wednesday at night only on BET. All right, sisters fans. Now, one of the most asked about questions about the episode last night was, wait, if Fatima was finally added to the sisters promotional commercials and the photos and trailers, then why wasn't she in the opening sequence for the title song? So before moving forward in the video, make sure you take a moment to hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell notification icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post new content to the channel and follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. So for this particular video, I addressed this briefly in my episode review, but I wanted to talk about it in a separate video. That way, in case you haven't watched the review, which honestly, I don't know why you haven't, you can skip directly to the part you wanted to, which is this, the title sequence. This reminded me of like the Oval season two when the first episode aired and everybody's like, wait, why isn't Gail in the opening title sequence? Where, where is she? And most likely because she was filming other projects. So in this scenario, I'm going to be honest here. My own personal theory is it's not common for this to happen. It really depends on the show and whatnot. There are two ways this could go down. The title opening sequence will remain the same throughout the entirety of season three and it won't be until season four assuming there is a season four that Fatima is added to the opening titles in my opinion it will be cool if Tyler Perry did this we wait until Fatima is officially part of the sisters friend group and then they update the opening title sequence to include her in it. I think that would be awesome because of the fact that I just don't think now is the right time. Think about sisters as a whole. The opening sequence is about the sisters themselves, these four women. We got some prominent characters. We got Zach, we got Preston, we got Maurice, we got Calvin, we got Gary, and the list goes on. But the thing about this particular show is when it comes to those opening credits, it's only the sisters and that's it. You look at the haves and the have nots, you got all the main characters. You look at, uh, well, assisted living, it has all the main characters in it. But when it comes to sisters, it's only the women, even if the men play a substantial role in it. Hell, look at bruh. Bruh has not just the male characters, but the female characters, Alice, uh, Pam, Regina, but Sisters is relegated to just the four characters. So in my personal opinion, I think the best time to do an updated opening um, theme song montage is when Fatima is fully accepted into the group. There's just way too much crap going on right now because of the whole Karen, Zach, Fatima thing. Even though Fatima didn't have a damn thing to do with it, Karen's in her feelings. So I feel like once their beef is sort of squashed and once the I feel like the other three women will embrace Fatima more or at least quicker than um um Karen does and once that goes down that's when we'll have the updated title sequence I mean at least that's my opinion I mean hell look at uh, the show girlfriends and it didn't just have the four women but William was at the very end of the title sequence, so why can't the same be done for sisters? I don't know. But again, I don't know any behind the scenes stuff. I don't know why the uh, opening wasn't updated yet, but I just have my own thoughts and opinions. You could let me know if you agree or disagree. But like I said, I'm happy in the first episode we didn't instantly see Zach and Fatima get back together. Let that happen over time. And then when it comes to the sister's friend group, we'll just have to wait and see how the dynamic shifts. But the one time they did hang out together when Andy was celebrating winning the lawsuit with the law firm, you know, she blended in well. You know, her and Karen hit it off well. Obviously, she's been friends with Andy for a little while. More so employee than friends, but they warmed up to each other. Uh, you know, Sabrina likes her and hell, her and Danny hit it off faster than anyone. So I feel like she'll be a good fit. It's just a matter of Karen. But thanks so much for tuning in, and if you want to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.